We are now going to have Dr. James Wen from Hong Kong U to share with us his experience in theme-based research scheme. Dr. Wen, please. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you for um, staying here still, uh, not going to Wang Daixin at the moment. Uh, no, it's too late to do anything properly except for uh, going to Wang Daixin to wish the, the end of this month. Uh, but uh, uh, my job here is to represent uh, my uh, PI, Professor Chong Yi Li uh, from Hong Kong UST because he couldn't be here because he's uh, now in state doing some research over there. So on behalf of him and my team to uh, share some of the things we learned through this uh, project. So far it's been uh, several years already on the road, two years, and we got this uh, <coughs> started uh, two years ago, uh, two and a half years ago now. When we try this project, I think number one things we need to uh, to know uh, and to is uh, who's actually in charge of the whole project uh, and uh, who actually come together with him as a co-PI. And you see that the whole team comes from different universities and we also have collaborators from other uh, countries, uh, uh, other regions, uh, like uh, from Singapore, UK, and from Korea, from Netherlands. Uh, but <coughs> mainly we are four uh, researchers in different universities here in Hong Kong to work together uh, under the leadership of uh, Professor Chong Yi Li. Uh, why we come together, I will tell you later on, but uh, one thing probably you know, notice Chong Yi Li means Chong Yi, Chong Yi Nei, so we eventually come together. Uh, why did we find, uh, how actually uh, and where did, did we find the theme? Actually, um, I would say, uh, I don't want to say too much here because this is prepared by uh, Professor Lee. Uh, basically, this is uh, what he's trying to tell us that uh, after 10 years of study focusing on one thing, that's the terminal operational uh, efficiency issue, he gradually build up not only the knowledge, but also the connections and the reputation worldwide. And before he uh, joined this uh, University of uh, uh, Technology in Hong Kong, is not actually at that time was not in this area at all. But 10 years, he gradually built up some reputation worldwide. And the most important thing is in 2010, he need to prepare something in the, the top conference uh, in Austin, uh, Texas. That actually drive him uh, to study. Uh, this is a big international conference. He spent one year to prepare everything for that keynote speech. During that preparation, he searched any information that he wanted to grasp in order to do a good presentation. And uh, during that period of time, he found a lot of uh, issues relating to what he have studied, but uh, not yet uh, is really on the study areas, including some of the things that uh, uh, I'm studying. So at that time, he sent emails to, eventually we became uh, friends, but at that time, she didn't know me. She did, he didn't know me, he didn't know anyone who actually uh, in this uh, team later on. So we just communicated through email and. Uh, and uh, when he asked me to get some of the uh, materials to support his uh, speech, I sent him all the uh, things I, uh, I wrote. And also I think other people do did the same thing. So eventually we, through this event, event uh, become known to each other. Uh, and we start to think of uh, some of the projects that we can work together. And again, I think uh, his leadership is important because he discovered that uh, beyond the area of his uh, uh, expertise, like uh, operational research and uh, management science literature, there are a lot of uh, issues which uh, related to uh, ocean terminal, um, transportation terminals like in Hong Kong, Kwai Chung, are seriously understudied. Like a contrary theory, yes, it's a, a big thing, but not within that area of uh, practice. Uh, revenue management, Yes, it's uh, uh, everywhere, but not yet in that area too. Uh, 
information sharing, uh, disruption management, etc. Many things actually should be well studied in this area yet uh, aren't studied. So this is the, the, the beginning of the whole thing. And the Professor Lee found that uh, there are four areas specifically that we can address and study through a teamwork with the uh, people inside Hong Kong from different universities. Area one is uh, tactical uh, issues on ocean container logistics supply chain networks. Area two is strategic side of this same issue, same area. And area th three is a policy issue how Hong Kong strategically uh, find for its future in this uh, uh, container port development and other logistic issues, and the integrated decision-making and supporting system. So these are the area uh, we identified before we start to uh, prepare our proposal. So uh, to contact all of uh, these uh, three uh, uh, collaborators, uh, number one is Professor Albert Ha, who's an uh, uh, expert in supply chain management. So he's the covering the second area of the uh, strategic analysis. Then uh, myself uh, for government policy, because I uh, have done several uh, research papers on this area, so he know me uh, that, uh, that I can contribute to the team. And the Professor Hongming Yan, uh, who has uh, expertise in uh, information technology, especially in integration of decision supporting system. So we work together and uh, we think that this may be something that we can work as a theme-based uh, research project. But again, it's coming back to the issue uh, discussed earlier, how to draft the proposal. I don't want to go to the detail, but uh, I want to say that uh, when we did that, we have very cle clear uh, and a specific uh, division of labor who is doing what and eventually have to someone to wrap up the whole thing in a, uh, uh, in a consistent style of uh, writing, etc. And uh, I, I fully agree the, uh, uh, the, the strategies uh, introduced earlier that uh, it's, a, it's, tough, it's tough and uh, it has to be very specific as well, but using general language. I think what I want to prepare uh, to say to, uh, today a little bit more is about the preparation for the reviewers' interview. Just like, uh, just mentioned, like uh, 30, 40 people sitting there in a long room, and you don't know you don't know them and you don't see them. They see you uh, standing there uh, shaking. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, number one, how, how to prepare this kind of a situation because you know they are top scholars, not only in your field, it's, it's every field. You don't even know which field <laughs> is that at all. Um, number two, uh, you don't know what kind of questions are going to, uh, to be there. And number three, the timing. Right? Um, so we decided to have a balanced approach in two ways in terms of balance. Uh, one is the language. On the presentation, we believe that general language, the uh, general words will work but when coming to uh, specific areas of our focus, our expertise, we have to be very professional in a way that because you know there's a couple of uh, experts, the world top experts sitting there looking if you can do something really that is real contribution to that particular field. So we uh, have this uh, kind of a combination of very specific focused area to express in a very uh, professional way. On the other hand, we have tried our best to use general language to um, present the whole thing uh, together. Second balance, uh, we try to say is uh, um, trying all, we, we try our best to demonstrate both the frontier knowledge we have in our area, uh, just like uh, uh, you say that uh, we have to believe and uh, trust ourselves we are the best in that particular area. Otherwise, you know, you won't get it. On the other hand, you have to tell others your research is something that in the real world is really uh, needed. It's really something that helped the reality. Of course, I, 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 I know in some other area probably not that uh, 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 it's not necessarily true, but in our research area, we have to 
relate our knowledge very closely to uh, to the uh, uh, the real world. And this, I will say that uh, when we do this preparation, and actually later on, we actually set up a project management um, uh, um, kind of committee to look at the relations, how we can practically progress this uh, in a, in a uh, good uh, time management way, including having the industrial uh, advisory board. Before we uh, do the presentation to, uh, to be interviewed, we already planned all of these in order to, uh, uh, to let them believe that our project will be very operational. And uh, our project is understood and uh, supported by the uh, industry. In this sense that uh, they know that uh, we are standing on a very solid ground, not just you know, pump our head and then think of some of the themes and uh, we say it's important. If it's important or not, we don't know. It's not the case. They know, and someone, if you try to ask the industrial people, they will tell you these group people are doing something that we need. We, we really, uh, and every two months we, uh, we meet and we try to uh, communicate with the uh, advisory board to tell them uh, the progress. In this way, we force ourselves to progress uh, in a, in a, in a uh, required manner. And uh, about the rehearsal uh, <laughs> kind of experience, time management, when I say that, uh, uh, I think uh, when you look at the you know, full house of professor, you know that the time must be very, very important here. You cannot waste a single second. Secondly, uh, we realize the Q&A part is going to be a very tough part. At the same time, we have to trust each other to say that at least one person will be able to answer the question, no matter what question is that. So we did a lot twice, uh, rehearsal twice, because we try to challenge ourselves. We have like uh, 15 uh, 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 people sitting challenging each other to see what kind of question we cannot answer. And also what is the best strategy to answer the question and who's the best person to answer that particular question if we prepared at least the chance that the question cannot be answered is very uh, limited. Uh, the real world situation is that uh, we eventually realized after our presentation, I don't know if eventually if we really in that way convince or impress the uh, the whole uh, panel, but at least ourselves, we believe that we did a good job there because the Q&A really gave us a chance to show that we are a good team. We work together, we can work together, although a few months ago, we don't know, e we didn't know each other at all, but now we are a very strong team and we show that, uh, you know, we know each other, we know each other's uh, specific uh, 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 talent or, or strengths or expertise and we know how to cooperate uh, with each other. Of course, the real thing is uh, in some area we don't know <laughs> at all to other people's area, but at least we know how to team up. Uh, we know that and, and, uh, and uh, the audience know that uh, we uh, definitely will be able to work uh, hard and work together as a single team under good leadership. I think that is uh, what I can share today. Thank you very much. <laughs>